And now, your first alert five weather. Weather excitement in Kit Carson County this afternoon. A tornado touched down near Vona. That's out close to the Kansas border. Thanks to Stephen Klein for snapping that and sending it to me. Outside right now, I think the song of the week this week is Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. Very appropriate. It's wet across parts of the city. 68. If you like that rain cool air, soak it up while you can. Humidity on the high side. That's live from Pueblo. Heavy rain falling across parts of Pueblo County right now. You've also got some very pleasant rain cooled air. Flash flood warning still active until 815 parts of Pueblo West. Pueblo, uh, the city of Pueblo within this green box right here. Going to encounter some high water, especially across parts of Pueblo West. Again, we've had reports of water up to a foot deep across the Liberty Point area in Pueblo West. Heaviest part of that thunderstorm well off to the north of the city right now. Pueblo West also getting more beneficial soaking rain. But again, a look out for that possible flash flooding. We also have a flash flood warning active parts of Colorado Springs and El Paso. Paso County within this green box until 845 southeast side of town. We've already had some flooding that stretches down security uh, security wide field into the fountain area. And here's that brand new flash flood warning just issued. This is for western El Paso County up into eastern Teller County, places like Manitou Springs up Ute Pass all the way to about Cascade. Beyond the lookout, you could encounter some high water. And as you know, it's always dangerous uh, during a heavy thunderstorm as you travel through Ute Pass due to the canyon. Seeing these thunderstorms slowly push off to the south and east. Steering winds aloft today are very light. That's why those thunderstorms moving very, very slowly. Also tracking those thunderstorms up across parts of Teller County in and around Woodland Park. Always look out for dangerous cloud to ground lightning this time of the year. These uh, thunderstorms certainly electrically charged. We've also got a batch across portions of open country in Los Animas County. Here's what happens around here on Thursday. This is our big weather story. Healthy cold front for July down to the south of us Thursday morning. We'll have a moist upslope flow at the surface. It's going to be a humid day, a lot of low level moisture around here Thursday even into Friday. Also the monsoon going to be uh, very active around here so uh, the atmosphere going to be juiced up for heavy rainfall. Possibility of more flash flooding across the area on Thursday. Thursday morning relatively quiet. Party really gets cranked between 1 and about 3.30 Thursday afternoon. Going to see moderate to heavy rain along and east of I-25 all the way back west into the foothills. Urban areas and burn scars will be under the gun for the possibility of flash flooding. This is pretty impressive for our semi-arid climate. This is five day forecast precip where you see these darker colors, the reds, those are the areas under the gun for maybe up to three inches of water, but we could easily see one to three inches across parts of El Paso County and Pueblo County over the next few days all the way through Friday into Saturday. Tomorrow relatively quiet by comparison. I think during the afternoon, best chance of thunderstorms across the southern mountains, the southern I-25 corridor. Not to say we couldn't get an isolated thunderstorm across the springs in Pueblo, but most of the action I think across far southern Colorado. Colorado. Hot stuff today in Pueblo, 93 year high in the springs. We topped out at 89 degrees this afternoon. These are updated temperatures, and if you like that air conditioned air, how about 60s and 70s here across the springs in Pueblo? Lows tonight dropping back into the 50s and 60s. Temps tomorrow, not quite as hot as what we had today, but I'm telling you, so you're going to have uh, quite a bit of humidity in the air tomorrow, Thursday into Friday. That'll make it a little uncomfortable. Here's that super seven day forecast in Colorado Springs. Best chance of landing a thunderstorm late tomorrow afternoon afternoon into early tomorrow evening. Storm uh, impact scale of three for Thursday and Friday because of the heavy rain and flash flooding. Again, certainly possible. If you like that air cool, how about 74? Haven't been there in a heck of a long time for an afternoon high. Get that water while you can because we're going to heat up and dry out next week. For Pueblo, afternoon highs cooling nicely Thursday and Friday. Heavy rain possible both those days. Going to see much hotter, drier air push in starting Sunday, lasting through Tuesday of next week. And for Canyon City, I've got thunderstorms in your forecast the next several afternoons. Enjoy that cool air Thursday and Friday and for Woodland Park thunderstorms in the mix all the way through Saturday.